Can everyone see it? Yep. Great. Okay, so this first slide is I'm starting at the um, program room. And what I've done is I've tagged each item or group of items with a core on the plan with a corresponding number and a brief description underneath. Um, generally, the floor finishes are over here. So we have this um, edgelet argon, argon as the carpet in the program room. We have the porcelain tile narrow and Turkish skyline as the porcelain tile going through the main corridor. Uh, that's the skyline. And then the uh, narrow is in this inset here. It's also in the cafeteria that we'll get to. And then the Turkish skyline goes into this space here, into the kitchen. So starting at the desk, we have the 4C task chair. Now the image does not show arms, but we know which desks get arms and which desks do not. Aside from that, the, the chairs all have the same other features. And it's a two, it's a what they call a 2D arm. So it, it uh, expands side to side for width and it adjusts up and down for height. It does not spin, it does not you know, move forward or back. Uh, we went with a more basic 2D based on our conversation with Beth. The seat is a black mesh. The frame and shell is also a black polymer. And we went with this quasar denim blue for the seat cushion. And we also use this, you'll see later on, as the seat cushions for the mobile pedestals and the uh, credenzas that have cushions on them. So that's the task chair at the desk. Going into the program room at B, we have the opt for stacking chair, mesh seat, poly back, chrome sled base. They did not have an image showing that. They only had the four leg image. So we know that it's a chrome sled base. Um, that's, Ron, that's the high density base? Yeah. Okay. It's the, it's, it's, it's the chrome. The that wire, was, yeah. Yeah, it's the wire base. It's the, yeah, it's a wire base. It's the high density and it's in the chrome, which was preferred um, as opposed to a, pol a powder coat, which is perfectly fine for this. Um, we added bariatric chairs uh, up here, item C. Now, don't forget, this is loose furniture. So I show them here. You can put them anywhere you want within that space. But we have a uh, the Knox, the JSI Knox series bariatrics um, with a black upholstery to match the black chairs, the mesh and the polymer so that they don't stand out too much as being different, which is something you aim for when dealing with bariatrics. Um, it is arm, you know, does have arms. It'll have a warm gray frame. Um, this can be used as a mom and child or parent and child chair, or it can be used strictly as bariatric. Um, item D, we have, now I show one, but we have two of the ruckus lecterns. That would be the maple top with the gray base. And we'll discuss as part of the order um, doing this in a solid panel with a vinyl graphic. But for the purpose of the image, uh, it shows the translucent uh, modesty panel. And then for the nesting tables, we have the uh, KI pirouette table, which is a flip top and they nest. Uh, so they stack side to side which saves a lot of space in your storage. The uh, 
other comment about the stacking chairs is that they come with a, you can, we order it with a dolly. So you can stack 30 or so of these chairs on a dolly and wheel, number one, it wheels back and forth. So it's easy to transport. And number two, it doesn't take up a lot of your storage space. Um, going back out to the lobby-ish area, we do have a self-check here, which would be a maple piece. And we also added shelving along this wall for the self pickup. Any questions before I go to the next slide? I have a question, but it's not about the furniture per se. Okay. Um, okay. For the program room on the left, there's a double door on the right. There's just a single door. Yes. Why not two double doors? Ken, can you answer that? Do you know why that you're you're muted, Ken? Um, is it because of the kitchen door? Is it the, the that, folding partition. But um, if you're going to be bringing in anything large, um, like the piano, for example, it's not it's not something you're going to be doing every day. Um, I'm just just talking about yeah. access for people coming in and out, a large number of people. Yeah, but the, a, a door will handle a tremendous number of people. Um, you know, if people are egressing out of a single door, um, I forget, it's like 100 people or something like that, um, that the door will, will handle. Um, no, but, but why was, was, there, was there a choice? to have one door rather than double doors because the exterior doors are both double doors. This is the only single door. Right, well, it's also swinging. If you had a double door there, it would swing against the kitchen door. And so, you, you know, it just avoids a, a potential conflict of somebody coming out of the kitchen in a hurry and then somebody opening that other door. Ken, I thought it was if, if the folding partition in the program room was closed, making that a smaller room. By code, you you didn't need a double door there. A we don't door need would... double doors anyway by code. Right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. The capacity right. of the I'm just door. ask as a when you go in a place, it's nicer to have a double door. Okay. So another question for like the piano, which is on the left hand side, is there any kind of a either a temporary platform? so that if there are speakers, they are raised up a little bit above the crowd? The, the only issue with that is handicapped accessibility. If you put a platform in, then you've got to have a ramp up to that platform. So even a, you know, if you had an eight inch high platform, you'd need an eight foot ramp to get up to that platform. Oh. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Doug. How many um, of D, how many lecterns did we end up getting? Did we get one or two? Two. Okay. Yep. That, that way we can use both rooms simultaneously. Yep. Make sure that the lecterns have a, a wire basket and the cup holder and the hook. Oh, we do. You do want the wire basket and cup holder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, there, are there people in the waiting room? I'm getting texts from staff members who said that they can't get in. Um, let me I to view the presentation. Thank you. Um, I do you want to? I don't see another screen on my computer. Do you want me to really turn control back? Do you want to take control back and see if? because maybe I can't see them, participants. Um, I 
I don't see anybody in a waiting room. When I click on persistent participants, it just says 10 participants and there are 10 of us here, but it doesn't say that there are people waiting. Do you wanna take control back for a minute and see? You would have to give it to me. I can't take it back. <laughs> right. Okay. I think right click and make host. It's a public meeting. So if people are trying to get in there, we have to let them in. They also could have the wrong link. I've just sent it again. Okay. I'm just trying to get back to my screen here. Um, participants. How do I? How do I give you control back? If you hover over the screen with my name, there's three dots and there should be a make host if you click on the three dots. I need to right click. Bingo. Okay, you should be host now. I will resend them the link. There's nobody waiting. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. It's okay. Um. Ah. <sighs> Where is this thing going? We're still seeing just that first page. Okay. Um, for some reason, my view changed. This is exciting. There you go. We uh, just moved to the teen space. Okay, but I need to get back to hit the page. I'm trying to find out why my location, my uh, page controls aren't showing up. Zoom, that's not what I want. Damn it. What if you go up to document and pages? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. There we go. Back to one. I will make this smaller. And we're at fit page. All right, so this should work. I'm sorry. So I'm going to move on to the next page, which is across the hall at the cafe, the custodian friends in sorting. And again, we have the same floor finishes. We have the uh, Nero porcelain tile in the cafe. The Turkish skyline is only in the corridor. This does not show, I didn't have an image of the, um, marble that's being reused. So I did not show it here, but there is a diamond here and there are, there is a diamond here. And then there's a diamond here and here of the reused original marble. And then again, we have uh, maple laminate tops with warm gray bases. We have the same task chair and upholstery in the um, sorting desk. In the cafe, we have the pirouette round top tables and a square table as well at the bench. Uh, we have both seating and stand, sitting and standing height tables in here. So we also have the Alden cafe chair and cafe stool, which would be a gray frame with the maple seat pan. 
and those are at the appropriate tables here. In the custodian office, we have the torsion chair, H. We also have the toggle adjustable height desk along with a mobile pedestal. And this pedestal will have the same quasar denim um, upholstery on the seat pad. And then in the friends, we also have the two torsion chairs. Any questions before I go to the next? What, what's just, the, sorry, go ahead, Doug. Um, what's the purpose of the adjustable height desk? Is that for handicap accessible? No, it's a sit to stand. It gives the, it gives the, it's the same desk we used in the offices. Yeah. I, just, so, I didn't realize we were going to have that in there because like, isn't that the window bench that's it's in front of, won't that be blocking the window bench? It's in the custodian office here. This oh. table in front of the window bench is one of these. Oh, I'm sorry. Square, that's okay. It's a square version of the pirouette table. Gotcha. Cafe table. The square confused me. Ron, uh, sorry, my quick comment was, it, it still feels to me like we have one too many tables in that cafe space, just based yeah. on my own experience. I think it's too crowded. I, I, I agree. So. Um, I, I agree too. I think three those three round ones would be sufficient. Well, do we want to- Or, or lose one round ones, yeah. Or lose a round one, yeah. That's, that's fine. Um, this is seated, this square is seated height. Oh, I see. That's a low one. The other three are high tops. Yeah. Well, that's, that was an ask question. How many high tops do we want? Do we want two high top? Okay. I'd vote for two high top and one low top. Yes, please. I agree. No problem. Cafe one square seated height, two round standing height tables. Excellent. On to the teen space. So uh, this is the Aurora carpet that is in the main stack area, the main teen area. It carries into the study rooms. It also carries into this little corridor and into the gaming room. And why does this not have the... I'm wondering if I grabbed the wrong version because I also had the paint colors in here. But the um, only accent color is a purple. So this gaming room is all purple. And then this wall, this side of the wall in the teen space is the same purple accent color. And here, um, item A, in the study room seating, we have two Dhoni chairs in each room. And I believe they wanted the ultra blue. That's correct. They just wanted one color chair in the ultra blue. Yes. Um, I have that. I have that in your notes, Allison. I just didn't have time to change the no problem. thing. And then item B is that are the tables and seating along the windows. So we have um, at each of the square tables, we have ruckus chairs in different colors. And I know that they asked for a black wire um, mesh underneath instead of the red. Um, and we can go through when we talk on Monday, how many of each color we want, we want through this space and in the um, maker space as well. The tables item for item B are these rectangular myriad tables. Um, we originally had the um, 
I've, now I can't remember the name, but we had a table with a different base, but this, um, Corey recommended this four leg base as being much easier to deal with to get people seated around it. And if I remember correctly, the students or the students, the teens like the maple top as opposed to the green or the dry erase. So that would be also on some of the occasional tables as we get into that next. And then the benches, which are, there's a bench here. There's two benches here. Um, as I mentioned previously, the back will be a lower height. And based on the comments from the teen group, they like the um, upholstery to be all the same. They prefer that the seat and the back upholstery be the same. Um, the only thing we'll need to talk about on Monday is we had three different upholsteries for all of the seating as options, and we'll need to decide which upholsteries go on which chairs. That's just working out details. Just to be clear, I don't think they cared one way or another on the benches. It was the individual upholstered chairs that they didn't want two colors. Oh, okay. I have a question, Ron. The you don't get to ask questions, Ken. You're, you're <laughs> part of the design team. <laughs> well, I know, but the ultra blue in the Doni and Ruckus chairs seem like different colors. Are they in fact different colors? No, it's, it's a trick of the image. They're, they're, this is closer to what it really looks like. This, for whatever reason, the image came up differently when I, um, what I did was I was able to go into KI's website and for their products, they have a use spec it feature. So I was able to specify what configuration and components and what finishes, and it gives you a JPEG image. And for whatever reason, this is how the image came out. Mm -hmm. So it's either an error of my PDF printer or it just doesn't look the same uh, from the image, but this is what the ultra blue really looks like. Okay. Yep. And continuing, we have the C and C1 lounge chairs and tables. These are the um, geo chair with the C table. Uh, so we have that configuration here, here, and just for simplicity, C1 is the geo chair with a low, um, a low table, one of the low um, myriad tables, instead of a an ottoman or uh, a high table. And the D, which are in the center, and then up here and up here, is the cella chair. And in the center, we have a drum table with a maple top. The upholstery we can decide on. It could either be one of these or it could be one of the vinyls. These two are vinyls. Um, so we can, we can work that out on Monday. And then in these two configurations, we have an ottoman, which is a soft top. The drum table has a laminate, a maple laminate top. And then these are the three um, upholsteries fabric. And then, as I mentioned, these were recommended as the options for the seat vinyls. Um, if you want to use these for the benches, oh, I just saw a thing from Alice and I'm letting her in.
she should be joining in a second. So we can we can go through those fine details on Monday when we go through the the order and the spec. Oh yes, here's the myriad table that we plan on using in this configuration here. So actually you can see just that it's four of these geo chairs with a low table in the middle. So could you clarify is is that a is that the drum or the low myriad table with that three geo chair set up in the corner? It is the low myriad table. Okay. So they can the, put their legs under it. Yes, they can put their legs under it. Okay. The only place I have a drum table is here in the middle. Okay, great. Thank you. With a, a laminate top and then these are soft Thank ottomans. Thank you. Okay. Program makerspace. We have the two studio tables, um, butcher block top, cerulean legs, locking casters, seated height, so that we don't have to deal with um, ADA concerns. And then we have multicolored ruckus chairs. Uh, again, we'll turn this wire basket to black and we'll pick out how many of each color you would like. Um, at the computer table, the computer counter, we have black torsion chairs. And then we have um, here, item G is the easel, the dry erase easel with storage cubbies. Um, I chose a cerulean blue to match the base if you would prefer to see a different color, again, we can talk about it Monday. Um, yeah, here, here we have the purple paint. So that purple paint is on all walls in the gaming and just this top wall of the um, program room. This, which is actually the west wall, is going to be a dry erase film. And then on the glass, um, we're going to have a stripe of the dot matrix film. Um, so we'll be getting uh, the other uh, wall coverings, just when we saw what they really look like did not work out. And then these are the three sheet vinyls that are in the program room. The purple one is in this sector the berry one is in this sector, and then the uh, blue one is in this sector here. Oh, and then here's the window film. This is just representative. If it's not the exact one, don't panic. Um, it's just representative of what we're intending, which is a band of film rather than covering the entire glass so that you can see, you can see the activities going on in the room. Can I move on to the game room? Okay. So again, we have the Aurora purple carpet. We have, as I mentioned, the impulsive purple walls. Um, along the back wall, H, we have a configuration of these um, step series cubes. I did see the um, setup in uh, Allison's email uh, that the students, I'm sorry, I keep calling them students, but it's doing schools for 30 years. Um, so we will have a configuration of these pieces. My understanding is that the teens liked the Anderson XL and the Smith System Rocker. And then we have the upholstery options for those. Uh, we'll work. We'll work through those on Monday. Also, I'll check your notes. Allison, did you? Did they say which colors they wanted for these chairs? They were kind of uh, all over the place on that. So basically, whatever you and um, Beth pick will be fine with them. Send me a note if you have a strong preference. 
I did yeah. hear that they felt the grape would not might be too much purple, and it looks like the wrong color purple. Maybe not. It's well, hard it, to it, tell with this yeah. group. So yeah. Yeah. Again, this is why. You know, I'm, I'm not thrilled with PowerPoints because they come up. You know, my screen probably looks different than your screens. There's a lot of purple in that room right now. I can yeah. tell that. I can make it all lime, that grass or lime or apple green. <laughs> yeah. You know, even yeah. Yeah. even yeah. the lipstick red might be too much with the purple. The yeah. graphite yeah. might be too dark, but we can we can okay. hash that out. That, that that purple paint chip, I don't know if it does it justice. It's it's an aggressive purple. So I, I think there could not be a more perfect color for a teen space than impulsive I, purple. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just saying with it, you're going to add more color to the color that's there on the wall. If you just we had a couple of teens through there today for a tour and they loved it. Loved that. <laughs> yep, that's good to hear. Okay, so if we're set, I'm going to go to the children's area and associated spaces. I'll go through the finishes first. We have um, in the children's program room, the majority is this Spencer's eyes blue. And at this bench area, we have an accent, a uh, half circle accent of goldenrod. Youth services, we have the gray sheet vial. In the nursing, we have VCT, this gray VCT. The general area and the uh, children's librarian office is the, um, I forgot the name of this carpet, which color series, uh, it's not a, a nebula. It's the nebula carpet. The melange green accent color is from this column around here to this column. The teal is along this wall and this wall. And then the sunrise is only on the wall behind these three benches in the children's program room. And again, we have um, maple laminates on tables and surfaces with the exception of this table. And then we have a warm gray base with the exception, again, with the exception of this table. So starting with item A with the task seating, again, it's the quasar upholstery. We have it um, here. Uh, we have it in the offices. We have it in the youth services. A1 is a typical office. So we have the toggle adjustable height table desk. We have the credenza with the seat cushion to match the chair seat upholstery and a mobile pedestal, again, with the cushion to match the seat upholstery. Item B is the children's table. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. The solid red laminate top, we were concerned that a solid without a pattern may show scratches and wear and tear fast. So what we are recommending is a red bamboo pattern for the laminate top on these tables. We'll have a, an actual sample of what that looks like on Monday. Um, red is a tricky color to deal with in laminates, especially with patterns, but this actually looks pretty nice. It, it's not a, uh, from what I saw in the sample, it's not a really um, overbearing bamboo pattern, um, but you'll be able to see that, you know, what the color looks like and what the pattern looks like on Monday when we have all the samples with us. The bent plywood chairs, um, I saw it in Allison's email, which colors they selected. Again, these were just an image uh, available from the website to show what the chair is. You know, maple legs, maple legs, colored plywood, 
uh, shell and then a, la a red laminate top. Okay, and the next slide, continuing on the next slide, we have item C, which again- Can I interrupt just real quick, Ron? Yes, please. Um, have either you or Ken, have, have you guys been in the library recently and seen the paint colors and stuff yet? Yes. Ken was there Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. I, I thought the teal, I was there yes, yesterday, a couple days ago, and teal is really dark. I, um, I didn't know if you guys had any comments on that, but we can take that offline. Okay. Yeah. So in this area, this area, we have the geo chairs. Um, here we have it with C tables. And then in the middle, we have it with a drum table, a round drum table with a laminate top. And again, we would. Um, I originally intended that this vinyl would, would, would wrap any of the drum tables or uh, ottomans that may be in here. And then the, we agreed, uh, we talked about this geo, um, sorry, elementary blueberry fabric for the back of the chair. So the seat would be this green color vinyl and the back would be this geometric um, fabric on the geo chairs. And then D are these three ottomans here, which would be all, fa all fabric and it would be this um, vinyl. E are these two lounge chairs and settee or love seat with an ottoman and um, again, for these chairs, we had the um, pomelo seat. So this seat cushion would be green. And then we would do um, the two club chairs in one of these fabrics and the couch in the other fabric. We can decide which ones. And again, we'll have samples of these with us Monday along with the carpet samples and the paint samples. But these are these are the ones we talked about in the design committee meeting um, a week or two ago. Yeah. The, the Revolution fabric isn't familiar to me. So I have some this, concerns about two dark blues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this we one can was talk about at, it Monday. Yeah, we had asked we had been asked to provide a second one. So this one um, you'll see it. Okay live and in person it may not look as dark okay when you're okay. when you get there okay uh so where are we um that was c e f is on the next page m you had asked for a ruckus mobile desk or mobile pedestal um, lectern rather for this space here and that should have the cup holder and wire basket and hook on the side as well, Ron. Yes. It should all be the same. Okay. okay. Thank you. So continuing on in the t in the children's area, we have um, the Big Joe beanbag chairs here and here. Um, do you still want to do that, Bethy? I know you had mentioned that depending on what happened in the teen game room, whether or not we would have them here. I think if there's room to put into that, it would be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have them accounted for. And then we can pick from, these are the three colors they offer. It, it's odd, they show a red chair, but when you go to select, you know, when, when you're ordering, it says, what color do you want? They give you a green, a black, and a blue. It's, it's welcome to the world of furniture. Excuse um, me, Ron. Yes. Uh, sorry to butt in, but no, I, I think please. there's one more person waiting to come in, I believe. I just saw it come up and okay. I she's coming in now. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. So um, going over to this area here, 
we have two different sizes of the toadstool and we have two of these log benches. We do not have the whole setup, just the log bench, the toadstools. And we uh, decided not to go, if I understand correctly, you decided not to go with this log bench. Cool beans. We, no, we want the bench. We don't want the stool. I'm sorry, the log stool. <laughs> yes, we have, we have the log stool. We don't, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Um, the one thing we'll need to talk about uh, on Monday also is we noticed we don't have a selection for a play like a dollhouse or anything else like that. We got the, we were given the recommendations for the wall mounted activity stations, but we'll need to know what you want for um, like a dollhouse or other play, playscape-ish kind of kind of things in this area. So moving on to uh, item H in this tutoring room. Again, we have the Dony chairs, and we can do either the surfs up, or the grass green, which I think would go better with the um, nebula carpet. In the nursing room, item J, we have the Solstice Healthcare Recliner. Um, we would pick a fabric from one of the other three that you know we're using out here um, because they're all um, Krypton fabrics. They're all made for water and liquid repellent, um, heavy wear. And that way, if for some reason you, you know, somebody decides to wheel the chair out into public for whatever reason, it'll, it'll fit in. But we can talk more about that Monday. At your request, we also, it doesn't show on the plan, but we also added a C table and an ottoman into the nursing room. So for the children's programming, up in here, we have these adjustable height tables. We have one, two, three, four of them. Um, I have it written down as dry erase and or maple tops. And I don't know if you still want to go with dry erase in here or if you just want to do maple tops. We can probably maple, but I will. Have an absolute answer Monday. Check Great. with Sarah. Sarah's on vacation this week, so she's not here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I, I remember that she's out. So these are hand crank tables as opposed to electric, so we don't have to worry about running, you know, electric for four tables. Um, for the seating, um, per previous comments, decided not to go with stools. You wanted a chair with a back. So I selected these um, chairs from KI. These are basically classroom chairs. They come in heights, you know, from 12 inches on up. We can do a mixture of heights. We can do a mixture of colors. I saw some comments uh, that came back. I know you don't like the yellow, so we'll take that out. So that yellow, I don't mind. It's the, the goldenrod vinyl and then the sunrise pink. They coordinate very nicely. It's not my personal favorite color and that's okay. My concern was that the rubber ducky shade of yellow is really gonna clash with those other two shades and that the surf's up blue may not match the blue vinyl. Spencer's eyes blue, I think it was on the floor. So we just wanna take a closer look at that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. And then we also have the lily pads and the um, the cart that they go in. And we have an easel, same easel that we used in the team maker space. And we can talk about the color for the base for that. It doesn't have to be this shade of blue. Let me just get my page back. So that pretty much covers the 
first floor. If we're good, I can go upstairs to the adult. Okay, adult space. We have the carpet in the stacks is this uh, helium gray that goes, it, it's basically from this column line back. Excuse me, um, on this, in this area, we chose to go with the blue carpet in the offices. And then this, um, I don't remember the name of this one. Um, this is, I know this is helium, I forgot what this one's called, but this carpet with the blue and gray runs the length of the corridor from the periodicals over to the um, large print room. And item A, task seating. For some reason, this print is coming up really pixelated. I apologize. But we have a work desk here. Um, we have the circ desk here. We have two offices. They all get this type A task chair, again, with the denim seat black mesh back and black frame. Um, I believe most of these have arms, but we know I have it written down which ones get arms and which ones don't. Um, in the offices, the A1 office gets the adjustable height desk, the, the credenza and the mobile ped. In the A2 office, because those are built-in counters, we have two 21-inch mobile peds, and then we have one 28-inch deep mobile ped that's near the door. Um, and then we have the two task chairs. And on this wall here, we have um, just basically um, standard uh, shelving mounted on adjustable standards to give them some storage over the desk. And again, the tops are the maple, the bases are the warm gray and the upholstery is the quasar. Item B, for these two desks, correct me if I have the wrong chair here, but I didn't think these were staff positions so I put their torsion chairs. Yes, correct. Great. Great. And then item C, we added three um, ottomans at the end of this row, this row, and this row. So it'll be this autumn, ottoman all upholstered, and we can pick the upholstery based on the uh, seating upholstery, which are on the next page. Item D is Are the ottomans the C ottoman? It's just kind of a temporary sit down for a minute kind of a thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. If somebody is at the end of a, a, a stack and they want to sit down and flip through a book type of thing. Um, and their chair height, like normal. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, they're um, rough. They're 18 inches. They're 16 to 18 inches wide, which is a normal seat width. And they're also 18 inches high, which is basically your average chair seat height uh, without getting into an adjustable height chair. And they can, I just want to jump in. They can be moved around, John. Yeah. They don't have to, they're not tied to like a particular spot. And the nice thing is like you could pull it over to any armchair and use it as a footrest or an additional occasional table, even though it's got a soft um, upholstered top as opposed to a hard maple or a laminate. Um, it's sturdy enough to hold your cup of coffee. Yeah. So it's just a really flexible uh, option that's easily movable around. Yeah, okay. the, I just was making sure I understood that's their they're pretty much just to sit on, but you could put it use it as a table too. Yeah, I mean, if you were sitting at a lounge chair or even one of the um, other, if you pulled up one of the 
uh, axis wood chairs that I'm going to get to in a minute. You can even put your laptop on it if you were if you were working. I wouldn't do it for a long period of time because it'll get a stiff neck, but um, it's really for a quick sit down, flip through something or put your feet up or put your coffee on. Um, item D in this corner in the center area here and then over at the ramp we have the um let me just check my view for a minute okay it was being cut off we have the teacup lounge chair and love seat so we have here and then in the middle here and then two along the glass we have the lounge chair and then we have a love seat here along with a rectangular this round ottoman is available in a rectangular shape so we have a rectangular version of it here and up here so it's going to be the fabric side with the maple laminate top um, the upholsteries for these two chairs are on the next page. Sorry, can you just repeat the section that's near the ramp? How many actual units will be there? You will have a love seat, one, one lounge chair here, one lounge chair here, and then a rectangular ottoman with a maple laminate top as a, basically as a, as a coffee table, an occasional table. Uh, fit page. And then the C tables go with the lounge chairs that are at the window. You know, these one, two, three, four, five chairs will have C tables. Oh, um, I forgot to mention that the staff room is this gray sheet vinyl. And this indigo blue accent color is on the ramp walls down through here. Um, yeah, down through here. We did not put any accent colors in the actual space. It, it got kind of busy. Um, but this accent color also shows up in one of the other uh, study rooms. So moving on to the next page for the adult space. At the windows. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I jump into the staff room here. So we'll have in the staff room, we'll have a rectangular um, myriad table. We will have the same chairs that are in stools that are in the cafeteria will have the chairs at the table and then the stools at the window counter. And we also have a bench. Um, this item G, we have it as an option at the dining table. So at the table we have cafe chairs and a bench. And then along the windows, in addition to the lounge seating, we have these one, two, three, four rectangular tables are this uh, reflect table. Um, it's a laminate top with a wood base and stretcher. And we have a combination of um, the same bench and the bent plywood maple shell with chrome leg chairs. So as we look closer at these four tables, we have a bench with two chairs. At this table, we have a chair on each side and we mirror that on the other side. So we have a table with two chairs and then a table with a bench and two chairs. Is did Beth is did you want the benches? Yeah, that was a request from Beth. 
Sorry, because somebody just I, brought me dinner and I'm chewing. Yeah, I, it was a suggestion. I would also like to suggest that we just buy an additional four um, access chairs so that there are four per table, even if yeah, the, I brought the research shows that this is how people sit when they have a, you know, they're single and they'll sit across from each other and they'll leave seats empty. But it, from a purchasing point of view, it might make sense just to buy them and have them um, to make sure like that the wood matches. So we don't have to add more later. Just a thought. I don't know how much they are each, but. Because I, I find the benches are really, you don't have the back support and not my, my choice. If I'm gonna sit. I want a, a back. Yeah. I hear you. We didn't put them in all the tables. And again, a lot, a lot of this is flexible. Please know that I do not have the staff to reset these rooms every day. So the public is going to come in. They're going to move the benches and the tables and the ottomans around, and we're going to let them. So it's, it's an option. It won't work for everybody. And that's why there's also chairs. You could pull an upholstered chair up to any one of those tables to sit in it and do your work if you wanted to, or or one of those drum ottomans, and it will be okay. Yeah. Also, I will I say if, if the rest of the feel, committee feels strongly that we should not have benches for the public seats, that is fine. I will let it go. <laughs> okay. Um, it, thank you for mentioning mobility because I forgot to mention that this refect table will have wheels on one end so that if they want to relocate the tables they can pick up the other end and it's like a they call it a wheelbarrow configuration you can pick up one end of the table the other end has the wheels and you can move it easily without dragging it um, we do that a lot in in classrooms uh, where we have flexible desks um, so they can rearrange easily. Yeah, are the are those benches pretty? I mean, I kind of agree. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the bench, but are they pretty stable? Like, I'd be worried about people flipping over the back of them, or I don't know. I mean, it I is the not, adult room, but yeah, I wouldn't worry about them tipping. Okay. If somebody, yeah, you know, within reason, if somebody, you know, really leans back, there's always a chance it could tip. Okay. But generally speaking um it, they're they're stable um i've seen benches used in in other configurations um in in waiting areas in vestibules um and they've they've been pretty stable uh without you know having to worry too much about people falling over yep and there are no there are no along that back wall those are all those tables are number f so there's no like high top tables in there no okay no these are strictly work tables and we did include benches we took out a row of stacks and we added two benches in the center here in addition to the ottomans over here so that again it's you know, if people are browsing and they want to sit down and flip through a book, if they need another, you know, if you have a group of people talking over here and they want to drag over a bench if they need more seating. Uh, again, as Beth had mentioned, um, you know, aiming for as much flexibility as possible without being too disorganized. Uh, and I think, I, I think the direction received from Beth and the committee and staff is spot on. You know, it, there's enough flexibility without making, you know, driving everybody nuts trying to reposition the furniture. Would would the benches be upholstered or or hardwood? Um, I they show it with a pad. I would have to find out if I was assuming it would be hardwood. So was I. Yeah. I was just thinking that one location between the um, in the stacks. I just envisioned that one as a, as upholstered. But um, sure. I can I can make a note it, to see if it's um, that's the Wallace bench. I'll 
ask if it's, I'll see if it's available. I keep phone. looking up everything on my phone as we go along so I can see it closer. Do they show one fully upholstered? I haven't looked at that one yet. Okay. If you don't find it, I will, and I, or I will ask the rep. The last two furniture items, uh, again, we have elect a ruckus lectern being used as a mobile work surface. It will have the wire basket and cup holder. Um, I'm assuming you do not want the modesty panel or do you for these? I'm gonna make them all the same. Just make them all the same. With the modesty panel, okay. Yeah, the, we, I think we're gonna want the two that are in the community room to have our library logo on it, but the others don't need to. Okay. Yeah, just those two. Okay. Ron, and I'm looking have... at the. Yep. I'm hi. I'm looking at the Warden Wallace bench online. Um, and it says that there it comes with. Um, sorry, I'm just yeah, there's a fully where you know you get a pad across the full top, yeah, yeah. yeah. or half or none. Yeah. yeah, I had a feeling they would. I wasn't sure if they replaced the wood with an upholstered piece or if they just put a pad on it, but that's fine. We can, it's a uh, pad on top. It's a but pad you on top still see the wood edge and it's inset from it. Yeah. Yes. And it okay. says attached. So yeah. somehow it looks like it would be adhered to it. Yeah. They usually use like a Velcro or a snap fastener so that if you need to remove it um, for cleaning or repair, you can do it pretty easily. I don't think they would, because it's that thin, I don't think they would have a piece of wood that you screw into from the bottom. Okay, and then the last furniture item are the self-check desks, item J. We have one here um, next to the mobile um, surf desk. And then for the upholsteries, um, the teacup shell, we have these three options. And then the teacup seat and the ottoman um, would be this uh, Citadel Blue Sky Vinyl. And then we can pick um, either of these for the cushions for the um, the benches as well, if, if you decide to go in that direction for these two benches. Okay, any, we have two more slides. Any questions before I go to the next? Yeah, I'll just say, I really like, I can't quite read the names of the fabrics, but the one with the squares and the different colors, um, I'd asked if there was a brighter blue that could be the base. Yeah, alignment full side. I love that one and asked for more, you know, similar bright colors. And I'm finding the other two options a little bit dull. Oh, okay. All right, we can, um, again, I will let Corey know and she's, she's gonna be bringing uh, other um, color, other upholstery swatches to review on Monday. So I'll just let her know that we might, might want something brighter for these. I agree with wanting something a little bit brighter. I think it would just pop a little bit better rather than having everything be the same kind of tones and stuff like that. You want areas of that pop. Um, true, you, we, you know, we, we do want areas, we do want the furniture to pop a little bit. Um, we need to be careful that it still coordinates with the carpet and the rest of the finishes. But we can we can see what other options are available on Monday. And you know, if we find something uh, more appealing, more towards your liking, that's perfectly fine by me. 
Okay. And I'm look. I just looked online on the my computer screen, which is larger than what I'm the Zoom meeting. Um, and I looked up. I is it C F Stinson, uh, pull, pull side yeah. upholstery. Yeah. So <laughs> that 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 alignment pull side does have um, some of those bright colors that are in the other fabric, actually the other two, Avenue Aquamarine and Pinball Sir, um, they look like the same colors. It's, I think it's just a smaller pattern. Yes. Um, and, and that's maybe why you're not picking up the brightness of them. Yeah, uh, again, we'll have these live and in person. So, you know, even at that, if they still don't look, you know, bright enough, we can see what other options are. Uh, from what she brings with us, with her rather. And like I said, we'll have the carpets there so we can see everything together. Um, okay, the opposite side of the floor. Um, Sorry, this is Ron, can you go back for one moment? Did you, was I eat chewing when you, I don't see group study four on here or on the one you just showed? It's on the same side. This one? I'll shut up, thank you. No, no, that's okay, Beth. Don't worry, you're, you're, you're okay. fine. Um, I just flipped over to the other side of the corridor and I, I'll do the periodical and um, large print last. So we have the study rooms, tech service, um, local history, admin office, director office, and then I forgot, I think this is the Refer office. I'm sorry? Refer reference office. Reference office. I should have remembered that one. Um, so going back to the general finishes, the flooring, we have VCT and tech services and local history. This is the carpet. Um, this helium carpet is in the um, director office. And then this blue carpet is in all of the studies and also in the, in the administrative space. And then it would also be in this office here. Um, again, the work surfaces would be maple, bases would be warm gray, and then the Quasar denim would be the seat cushion and then any of the credenza and mobile ped cushions. So going to the study rooms, which are all basically the same, we have uh, the Dhoni chair and I went with the surfs up color here. This color looks really good with the carpet. Um, I thought the other blue might clash a little bit, but again, we can talk, you know, discuss further if, if you don't agree. Um, all of the tables are rectangular versions of these pirouette tables. And these are not flip, these are fixed, fixed height, fixed top, no casters. Um, in tech services, we have the 4C task chair at each of these counters. And then at these two counters, we have mobile pedestal under the desk. Going into the administrative area, um, we have the toggle adjustable height desk at each workstation. So I have one here. I have one here. They both have a mobile pedestal. The spaces also, each workstation has a credenza. There's a, the credenza here and then the credenza here. Um, on the wall, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. We put some three foot wide by 12 inch deep shelving, wall mounted shelving. These are just typical laminate shelves on wall-mounted standards. Um, just a couple of shelves for 
personal items or whatever to give them some overhead storage. And then we have three drawer file cabinets here. I have two drawer file cabinets underneath this built-in counter. Um, I've drawn in the copier to the correct size just for reference. And then we have a single guest chair, this axis chair. It's the same chair that's out in the adult stack area at the windows. So it has the bent plywood maple uh, shell with the chrome four leg base. The director's office is very similar. Um, the difference being that this desk, it, again, it's a toggle adjustable height desk with a pedestal underneath, except it's um, six feet long instead of five feet long. We have a round pirouette table. This will be a flip top with casters so that it can be wheeled out of the way if necessary. Tucked in here, we have a credenza and also a C table. That round circle is a C table. Um, we, in addition to the credenza, the pedestal at the desk, I also have a 28 inch deep credenza under the surface. And we have two three drawer files um, along the wall. The Chairs, the guest chairs in the office are also the axis um, chair. And then in this office here, we don't have room for a cadenza. We do have the adjustable height toggle with the pedestal underneath. And we also have a second 28 inch deep pedestal in the corner. And in this nook, I added some uh, uh, shelving, wall-mounted shelving, similar to what's on the wall here. I believe I added four shelves instead of two. So they'll have some shelving storage available here. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, you didn't mention what the teen librarian's office furniture is gonna be. Um, I don't have to answer that right now, but I was just curious if you knew that what that would be. I'm sorry, I skipped that. It's the same. All the offices have the toggle adjustable height desk, credenza, and mobile pedestal. Let me go back. <clears throat> um, teen. The only difference is that in the teen office, this happens to be a built-in counter with a pedestal underneath. We have an adjustable height desk here. We have two credenzas. We have two task chairs. And then we have two shelving units and a three drawer file. Is the the same as the other offices? Because I know that that office has the same pattern as the rest of the teen room. Same pattern? You mean carpet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be the same. Uh, the, the teen room, so that's the purple carpet coming in here. We'd have the maple top the, you know, the counter is maple. The desktop is going to be maple with the gray base. And the seats are going to have that same blue. Uh, it's not shown on this page. But they'll have that blue denim seat pad with the black mesh back and black shell. And then the cushions on the credenzas and the pedestals will also be that denim blue. Because yeah. the carpet is different, we might want to consider another upholstery for those spaces. We use the other ones that have already been picked out for teens. Yeah. These? Yes. Yeah, I, I don't see a problem with that. 
So I'll send you an email, Beth. Yeah, that that would be a good reminder, just, just so we don't miss something. Okay, so that wraps up. Um, actually, the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, the director and admin, uh, the plan doesn't show chairs for the desks. Those are being taken from the existing space. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I promise they're on the new side and they will coordinate. I promise. Go ahead, Doug. I, I have a question on the um, the study rooms, yeah. like the, the, the big study room next to local history. It's shown as if there's four tables, but is that just one large one or is there actually four small ones? Four small ones. Really? Oh, and they... They're designed to come apart and designed to connect together. They're freestanding. If it's if it's possible to get those with casters, it actually makes sense for that room because the idea was they could be pulled apart or reconfigured. It's not a huge space, but if we need some kind of overflow quiet study, I think it would be useful. Okay, so for the large study at local history mm -hmm. at casters. Yeah. And are those, do they somehow especially if they have casters, are they going to somehow connect together? Because, you know, if you're sitting there in, the, in a meeting or whatever, it's going to be kind of weird if they all kind of fall apart. Yeah, we, we do it all the time. Um, corporate yeah. okay. corporate That's meeting great. rooms like this, we, we do this kind of thing all the time. You get these things, so the, the room's reconfigurable, but you can put them all together and make one big desk. Yeah, and the casters will lock so they won't roll away, but they won't like hook together. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Does that study room have a name i think that it does doug you have the list yeah i think that's the one we call gs10 right because it's a 10 seater i i like to call it bob but you can call it <laughs> get a donor <laughs> buy it and pay for it I but it could be the john stevens room, i'm just saying that's right <laughs> no no sorry it's the, it's the yearbook room because that's where all the yearbooks are going to be <laughs> I just didn't know if it had a special name because it's next to the local history. That's all. How much money do you have? We'll we'll name it whatever you want, John. Just write us a check. I am I am out of dough. No more dough. Sorry. How about cash? <laughs> okay. No, none of that either. I uh, actually never. I think we have that room That's named already. Not. I think we do. Yeah. We do, yeah, we do have that room named. Yeah. Okay. Endowed, I guess. Excellent. Finally, the last slide are the large print, the additional study next to it, and then the periodicals. So the flooring, the carpet in period in uh, large print and periodicals is this paisley pattern with the, the navy blue border. And that is, um, there are fields, there's one, two, three fields of the paisley, and then the same thing in here. Uh, one, two, three fields of the paisley, and then the border splitting them up. In the study room, we have the same blue carpet as the others. We have, um, in this, I'm going to go to the study room first. Uh, we have four of the geo chairs and a an, an, uh, round ottoman. Um, I'm sorry, drum table with a maple laminate top. And then going to the large print room. Right now, we have the Sharon chair. Um, I saw uh, we received some feedback today on this chair. And as I mentioned, if you can, you know, when you get a chance, give us a little bit more information as to um, what is not comfortable that way. Because um, we would hate to come back and say, oh, here, try this chair. And it's the same problem. Um, the back and, is hard when you lean against it, it's not cushioned. And the arms are very hard. So I, I understand that it's permanent to provide support and it's easy to leverage yourself out. So my question is really, is this a chair though that people are gonna wanna sit and read the newspaper or a book or a large print book 
you know, for an hour or two. And these are, I think these armchairs should not be designed for, this is a brief perch. That's what the Ottomans are for. The armchairs should be comfortable and welcoming. Yeah. And staff feedback was also, yeah, it's, it's hard. Okay. Cushion, um, the seat cushion's great. Now, was the arm height and the back height and the seat height okay? I think so. I have some other staff who maybe sat in it. If you want to chime in, please do. But I like the shape. I, we like the width that it looks like you could tuck a child next to you and be cozy. Um, it is wide enough even to kind of turn and sling your leg over. It's an armchair and get really comfortable, except then it's hard. It's, it's just kind of like a hard chair. The arms in the back are very hard. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree with what Beth said. And I, I love the, the width of the chair because I felt like if I had a small kid or a grandkid, it'd be real comfortable to have them sit there and to be able to read a book with them at the same time. But yet I didn't think that it would be comfortable necessarily. I, I think the arms need a little bit more padding in the back just to, to be able to have that kind of cozy feeling. Okay, I can pass that along to Corey and she and I can see um, what we might be able to find in a similar style with just a little bit more padding and comfort. Thank you for the information. Um, we also for had- the, Sorry, for the group study five um, with the small little table, is that is that big enough? I mean, if that's a group study room, you've got the four chairs it seems like you might need a little bit more table space in there this one think, yeah yes it was well, always int intended to be a lounge space and a, a private lounge space for a meeting that wouldn't require a table because there's other rooms with tables that's true yeah okay and this there's a counter built-in counter here there's a uh television on this wall i believe the other wall that one yes a whiteboard there's a whiteboard here. I, yeah, thank you. There's a TV here. Yep. And um, this is also um, a, a navy, that navy accent color on this wall. So I'm informally referring to this as the adult gaming room. So you could come up to a, a desk and check out an Xbox or PlayStation and set it up in that space and play with your four friends. Um, it would be great for telecommuting um, or for a meeting or as a you know, an office office -y kind of a space without having that traditional furniture. Does the television kind of, have, go ahead. That kind of concerns me because when I discussed this with, I guess, um, Dana, it was a study room and it's gonna be named for Millie Bean. And she was a former president of the library. And I, that's not what I intended game room for her. I don't know that anybody will use it that way, but it was has been shown on the drawings as a space with lounge furniture for quite a while. It, so it I'm happy like to it, talk offline about it. it. It feels like a book group room to me. Yeah, you well, know, book groups usually have more people. Nice. Yeah, or you're sitting around with your laptop, you know, working with each other. Yeah. Or you're going to have a video teleconference. It's got the technology to to do that and, and kind of have a nice space to sit in. Yeah, it's just kind of a less really formal, fun. less formal group study room. I like. It's going to feel nice, I think. Yeah, it's got a great view out the window. Yeah. And that that room's going to, uh, as I said, that chair will have that room will have the geo chairs in here. Um, the geo chairs, if you remember the front two legs have casters and there's a little handle on the back of the back. So those chairs can be easily rearranged any way they want within that space. You know, if they, if they do have a video conference, they can easily wheel the chairs so that everybody's sitting on the side. Um, it's, a, it's a flexible space. And I think it'll be a really nice space. It's also uh, Bench against the outside wall too. Yep, there's a bench against the outside wall. Um, in the <clears throat> periodicals, again, um, we have the lounge chair for here, for here. We have C tables, one here, one here, and also in this uh, 
large print, we have a seat table at each end. In the, uh, these are the refinished existing tables and chairs. And then in the middle of the um, large print room, we have two display units. It could be one if you think two is too many. That, the, the plan shows two, um, but it's this tiered pyramid. It's a low, it's a relatively low height. So it gives you some visual privacy when you're sitting. You know, uh, it splits up the room a little bit, but if you stand up or if you walk in, you can see over it very easily and you can see the whole space. Um, there's also a window seat here in front of this arched window looking out to the, uh, the main entry. Um, these it feels were, a, sorry, it feels a little thin on seating. Seems like a room that you'd want more than four seats. I mean, I know you have the window seats, but um, you know, it almost uh, the, the, like those, that seating area you had next to the ramp, it almost seems like you'd want something like that up in here where, you know, you could have a group of four people that are sitting around reading and chatting. But anyways, we can I mean, think about that as a bigger picture later once we look at the budget and everything. It seems like a pretty big room for four seats. Okay. We there's, can... there's a win window seat too, but I hear you. Yeah, I don't see why not if, if it'll fit to do two love seats and two chairs in each half. Sure. Yeah, maybe if we do it similar to what's in the um, children's room where we have um, two club chairs side by side and then the other side is a love seat. Or you can do like the, the um, adult space near the ramp where you have the two chairs and then a love seat on each side. Yep. Think about that and we can, we can look at it Monday. Um, these were the um, upholsteries that we proposed for both the um, media and lar uh, per periodicals and large print. The pictures kind of don't do them justice. However, um, again, Corey is bringing additional options to look at on Monday. Um, when we talked about Bright, I thought that the, um, you know, the, the fabric that we had discussed in the committee meeting was kind of a beige-ish green. And I was, I, I took that to mean that it was too muddy and that we wanted to see colors more in line with the other colors being used. Um, if these are not bright, if these are not what you were anticipating, you know, we can certainly look at other options. It, it's, you know, I, I just thought that this would, especially with this multicolor, um, would bring a little bit more life to the space as opposed to the, the beige green one that we had originally looked at. So I, have, I apologize if I misunderstood, um, but you know, we'll, we'll work it out. Like I said, Corey's gonna bring some other options. I, I said red or burgundy as we were going out the door and, and somebody said, good luck finding burgundy. You know, it's not a contemporary color maybe, but I do think that there, there are places that maybe we have some red in the children's room too. I think yeah, that the blue and gold would hold up to a red or you know, a reddish chair. It, awesome. yes. Even though I, it's not I, used, I, I think that we have used some reds throughout, so. Not we a have. Complete, yeah. Yeah, complete. we have. Yeah. And yeah. if we find the right red or burgundy, it would certainly go with the blue colors in this, the blue and the, and the beige in this carpet. The, the upholsteries don't have to match exactly. Great. It's, and, and that wasn't, you know, necessarily the intent. We want things to work together. Um, she did show me one option 
um, before before I put this together that had some red in it, but it didn't it didn't look right. It wasn't the right shade of red. It wasn't the right pattern. But I can certainly tell her um, when I talk to her tomorrow to look for some other red options and maybe even a gold. How do you feel about gold without getting into yellow? I, red, I love red. Red's great. <laughs> so Corey also said, don't be afraid of a big print. And the sample share and share that she dropped off, I did hear, hear feedback from staff. We really liked that print. It was like kind of big embroidered flowers, but it was in the, uh, just a slightly darker hue um, than the upholstered background. And these are yeah. uh, small print that we're looking at. Okay, so for large print, and I'm going to look at the Stitson uh, upholstery site too. I'm sorry. I'm going to look at the CF Stitson upholstery website too. I've already seen a few things can come with. That would have been that could have been great. That that's that's fine. Um, um, if you stick with Stinson or Arcom, yeah, the, yeah. because those are the upholsteries that we're using elsewhere mm -hmm. and. Um, they're also reasonably priced. Great. Yep. Um, the, we were concerned that the birch might be a little bit on the expensive side. But if, if you want to, you know, take a look and see if there's something you really like and send it over to, to Corey and me, we're open. Thank you. You bet. Beth, the facet actually isn't as small as I thought, it's more like a medium size when I looked because it, it shows up on a chair so you can see it for scale on the ArtCom site. It's just, you have to see the fabric in person to see what the color is like. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, aside from the color use being off a little bit because of, you know, PDF, yeah. um, screen resolutions, uh, I also had to shrink these down because these images were actually, you know, eight by eight images, full size, and uh, mm -hmm. they, they don't exactly fit on these boards. So that's the that's always the trick putting together fabric boards, even if it's a an actual board with samples and swatches. The upholsteries and carpets can be a nightmare trying to get them to fit. But we will have actual samples with us. Um, and we can go through that and uh, see where that leads us. So that's actually the last slide. Okay, I just have one comment and Please. one concern. <laughs> it's oh, the fabric sorry. that you used for every single uh, chair seat for the desk <laughs> chairs. I'm just concerned about the double rub on it only being 50,000 just because I've seen bad things. <laughs> the, the, for the task chairs? Yeah. That's a 50,000? Yeah. All right. I, I really will... like the pattern a lot, but I, I'm sure that KI has other fabrics, but I, I, I just wouldn't go with meaning, that. Meaning it'll wear too quickly? Yeah, it won't be yeah. too quickly, but it'll wear faster than, than other fabrics, you know, yeah. if you shoot for the 100,000 100. as a minimum is what I always do. Yeah, we, the, uh, the, uh, the upholstery for the soft seating, the lounge chairs, et cetera, is all a minimum of 100,000 double rubs. Um, that birch, um, that's the manufacturer, that birch upholstery that we talked about for the lounge chairs that you noticed was 50,000, we pulled that Oh yeah, out. yeah, thank you. I know, I, I, I noticed that. But when I, I looked at that fabric, cause I didn't recognize it at all. And it, it's a KI fabric, right? That- Yes, it's a KI. So it looks can, very much like the Artcom Galaxy actually. Um, but I'm sure that there's a KI that'll be affordable, that'll be in the right double rub. Okay, I'll, I'll let her know that. I didn't realize it was a uh, 50,000. Yes. 
Any other questions, comments? Thank you. Thank you very much for all the work that you put into this. Thank you. You're, you're very welcome. I, it, uh, I appreciate everybody's input and comments as well. It helps get through the process and um, pull things together. So thank you for your time. Doug? Yeah, there are a couple things that I don't, I didn't hear you mention, but that might just because you're not talking about the larger group, like the, um, the mobile carts, that the idea with the laptops, the book carts. I know that you guys have mentioned that in the past. I'm assuming that's somewhere in the list that we're just not reviewing as a group. Yeah. Okay. Only, be, uh, only because those are more utilitarian items. Yep. And here we're really focusing on the true public Yep. Okay. Great. Space type of items. So um, we did get the budgets for the shelving and the loose furniture. The loose furniture is based on uh, what's in here. And uh, when we meet on Monday and make any revisions, uh, she'll update the budgets. Um, I just have a question. You said meet on Monday. Is this just you and Beth? Yes, it's Beth, Corey, Andy, Mark, myself. Okay, and so not because I haven't posted anything and I can't no. post anything. It's my no. my concern. No. So that's that's fine. The the if purpose, it's not a committee meeting, then it's no big. It's not an issue. It's not a committee yeah, meeting. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> The, in, the intent is to go through the budget for the loose furniture that Corey prepared and issued uh, last night. Go through the comments from this meeting as well as the comments we received from Allison for the teen space and a, any other additional comments that Beth has. Flesh out the details so we can get that uh, budget turned into an order. It's really just the fine, the fine tooth comb portion of making we making sure we have everything correct, quantities correct, colors correct. Um, we didn't miss anything. We didn't take something out that should have been taken out. It's 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 a working meeting. It's not a planning session. Go ahead, Mark. Just in preparation of that meeting, on you know the furniture is always a moving target, and you know we changed or potentially changed a few things tonight. I get that. The shelving, however, for the most part, has been a finite. You know the quantities were were in the grant. The design was based on that. So the lineal footage, the size, and so forth was has pretty much stayed the same. But we're the budget we're over on the shelving budget, and so I want to have Corey put something together to speak to that on Monday because I'm I don't I don't follow how we got off track specifically on the on the shelving. The the only thing that I could think of, Mark, was steel prices have shot up. Um, yeah, I know that's a for a fact. And I, so if if that's the answer then then I get it. Uh, yeah, but I know like but, if in some areas we actually eliminate shelving and put those benches and so forth, and, and and in general, the shelving hasn't changed all that much. Yeah, Beth. We, we, yeah, go ahead. Go oh, ahead, Beth. I thought that even though we eliminated the shelving, the plan was still to purchase it for future growth now, so that we have it, and that it, we get that fifty percent reimbursement, and so that it matches, and that it would be out of stock. Is that not the case? That was my understanding. So we need, we need to make sure that that's included. I will. I will double check and make sure she included yeah. it. I mean, we're still 50% over budget, which is a lot. Is it possible that we have more bins than we had planned for picture books and that those are more expensive? And that's the, that would be another discrepancy possibly, like if we thought we were only gonna do bins for board books and then decided to do the whole collection. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that's in the shelving number because it's, it's not metal. The shelving typically is all the, the Shelving. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, I had the same reaction, Mark. 
Mm -hmm. um, it could be too that in our shell, as, as we got a shelving estimate, we probably did not include shelving either for the self pickup for holds or for the office spaces. So it wouldn't have a lot, but it would be you know additional. Um, and also for storage rooms where I think there's some shelving in storage rooms in the local history room. So I don't know, I don't think that was included as an estimate for linear feet for the public collection. Right. So that would be another add on. Yeah. But I'll Can ask her. Go ahead. Uh, I'll I'll ask her to take a look at it and see where the where the difference is. So I might. Did vote. we discuss window treatments anywhere? Not as part of this. We will. Are is, okay. Yes, we will discuss window treatments. I it, I just didn't have time to pull it together for the. For no, this. I just didn't. I just wasn't for sure if I missed it, but. Um, that's fine. Thanks. Okay. Mark. So jumping to the inevitable question, if, if Monday we review everything, we nail it down, everybody's happy, but we're 45% over budget from, from the numbers that were originally discussed, what, what is the next step? Are we prepared as a, a group? Do we start over? Are we prepared to to approve that additional uh, budget, how how does this group want to proceed? From a value engineering point of view, we can go through and see which are the higher ticket items and decide if we want to either eliminate or substitute. Um, in terms of finding additional funding, that's a that's a committee decision to make. Can Doug and Dana give you guys a number of this is free cash from us, so to speak, from the fundraising group that could be applied to that? It, is there a number that you can use from the fundraising dollars? Uh, yeah, certainly that's an option when somebody endows a, a room like, I don't know, the gaming room, certainly the, some of those monies could be used to, you know, buy the furniture in those rooms. I think I would think that'd kind of be the second stage, right? The first stage is this group to go through and, you know, really make sure that it's stuff that we really want or really need and go through and and thin out if, that, if that's the right word um, before considering the other um, option. But Andy Andy, and Beth, we've already been talking with uh, Dana and I about other funding. I, I would like after our meeting on Monday, I, I need to go back to our grant application because we got the grant based on saying we would put X number of seats in the teen space, X number in the adult space, this many upholstered chairs, this many hard chairs. So I don't... We, I don't know that we can thin out. We may not need it all for opening day, but that might be a question we have to go back to MBLC right. to yeah. if there's a decision that we can't afford all of this and can only buy, you know, half the seat. Yeah, yeah. I'd say the same thing with the shelving, right? I mean, if there's some shelving that, I mean, it makes sense to get it now when we can get part of it reimbursed, of course. Um, but if there's items that we don't necessarily need. To, to Beth's point though, the the, MBLC is going to want to see, they're going to compare what we end up with yeah. to what we applied for, what, what the grant application said. Yeah. And if it's a new chair or a used chair, that's fine. But you can't say, well, we're only going to put half the shelving in or we're going to eliminate the office furniture here. They're going to want to see. So there, there might be, you might have a few more items than in the grant application, but I, I don't see as you have in certainly 40% more. Uh, um, and so it's, we're, we're going to end up with a number that's more than what we started with. And so we're going to need to figure out how to address that. Yeah. Did, did our original furniture estimate include the office furniture? Which original one? The one that I submitted with the grant application from Tucker. I, 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 honestly, think, it, I, think, so. I think it may not have. And I think that that, again, if you're looking for why is there such a huge jump or a discrepancy, remember that we're using 2016, end of 2016 pricing for the application. 
that prices have gone up and not everything may have been included, unfortunately. So. Yeah. Well, that would be good to know because uh, it wouldn't be good, but at least it's something that we can explain. Mm -hmm. I don't think prices, I mean, 50% sounds a lot in four, even four years, but. And people are gonna say we had a contingency. That's what contingency is for is to make up for inflation. Of course, we all know where most of that money went. Right. So anyway, Ron, if, 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 if we could look at, at that before Monday, so we, instead of starting the conversation on Monday, we go into a conversation where we have some background information and maybe, you know, maybe the steel in, uh, increase in pricing contributed to half of the increase and the additional office furniture was the other half, something like that versus I don't want to leave Monday and uh, having not continued this conversation. I don't want to start the conversation after Monday. Right. right. Well, Ken, Ken, Corey, and I can, can put our heads together and go through it. Okay. Ken, I just volunteered you to help out. <laughs> and correct me with, if I'm wrong, but I think, um, does, does it, this committee need to vote on like a final furniture quote before we order? Like, I don't feel like we can do this meeting on Monday and then turn around and order it. No, I think this committee needs to sign off. And what I'm concerned about, I, initially back in December, our goal was March 1st, release the order. So next week is, you know, Monday's the 15th and very easily the 15th could turn into the 31st. Um, you know, especially if we have to go back and start thinning out or revisiting chair A versus chair B, um, and we could we could lose time very easily. I can't hear because yeah. I have headphones on. Oh, sorry. If does the committee need to meet then next Tuesday or Wednesday to follow up, or is that enough time? Let's. Let's plan for a meeting next Wednesday night for the for the design subcommittee. And if it turns out not to be enough time for us to get our ducks in a row, we can figure out another. Excellent. Meeting. Reschedule. We can yeah. reschedule. Can the building committee do emergency meetings? If everything, oh, if we so. get everything worked out and the design subcommittee votes and says go ahead do we need to go back to the building committee to get sign off from them and if that's the case do we have to wait until the next scheduled building committee can you do an emergency session because you have 48 hours notice for public meeting and you have a quorum that can meet on quickly on short notice like we could ask them now can you hold monday the like the 22nd instead of waiting till the April meeting which is like April 7th I think yeah yeah we just we need to make sure that we give John you know 48 hours and another half day to pull an agenda for us I think right yeah. I'll just post it and if it's it needs to go away it can go away but at least it's Perfect. There. yeah why it's don't we there. just post it for Monday the 22nd then Go ahead, Doug. Um, and Ron and Ken, don't take this the wrong way, but um, were you guys responsible for that initial quote with the grant? I can't remember who put that that number, those numbers together. Corey, Corey put those numbers together. Like four years ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just, I just wanted to make sure I remember who did that. Yeah. Here's a question. Could we um, potentially shorten the timeline if, if, it, if we do our due diligence collectively and we end up having a discussion of we're 45% over budget, we're 33% over budget, whatever it's going to be, we know we think we're going to be over budget. Is there, um, is there a number, say the committee, and I'm making these numbers up, the committee would approve an over a, a budget overage of $200,000. I'm just making that number up. And if downstream we sort everything out and we're happy with the colors and, we, and, we, and we're under that, then we could present to the committee, sign off and go. 
versus present to the committee and we're 210 or 198 and, and we start the conversation over again and we go room by room and piece by piece. Um, I'm just, I'm worried we're just gonna, we're gonna start kind of spinning a little bit. Well, we can't, we can't go over our bonded value for the, I mean, the total project cost, right? We can't go over that. So if we vote to approve to spend a little bit more on furnitures, I mean, on this piece, isn't that going to impact something else? It absolutely will if, if there's no additional funding, right? You know, from outside sources. So I guess that's what I'm asking. If, if, if there are donors or the friends or whoever is, is ready to commit X amount of dollars to this specific item, or, or not, whatever the case is, you know, we have to figure out how much money do we have, and then, and if there's a hard ceiling, then we, then we design to that. Yep, and, and I, I think from the capital campaigns perspective, you know, we need to figure that out early next week, <laughs> obviously <laughs> right. for you guys. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're, uh, Andy, Mark, Beth, Corey, and I are meeting on Monday to go through this. Uh, in the meantime, I'll get the comments that I wrote down from tonight's meeting into Corey's hands tonight. She and I and Ken will start thinking about possible value engineering in addition to finding out, um, you know, where the overages are in the in the furniture budgets. Um, we'll plan for a meeting next Wednesday night for the design subcommittee. And we'll plan for a meeting on the 22nd for the building committee. And at least that's our game plan for now and we can modify and adapt as we go forward. All set? Agreed? Yep. Okay. If there's nothing else, uh, I will see some of you Monday and be talking to the rest of you at a later date. Thank you, Ron. Move um, to adjourn. Next Wednesday. Yep. Can I Thank you. Move, move to adjourn. Can I get a move to adjourn? So move. Second. Anyone? I'll second. second. <laughs> Jinx, Julie and Doug. Thank you.